described in Backman's class that uh, there were 34 false uh, business um, uh, records. And they would not conceal another crime, but the indictment does not specifically say what those crimes were. We are assuming, perhaps, that they might be election-related. I'm wondering if you can uh, specify what laws were also broken. Sure. So let me, let me say as an initial matter that the indictment doesn't specify it because the law does not so require. Uh, in my remarks, I mentioned a couple of laws, which I will highlight uh, again now. Uh, the, the, the first is New York State election law which makes it a crime uh, to conspire to promote a candidacy by unlawful means. Uh, I further indicated a, a number of unlawful means, including more additional false statements, including statements that were planned to be made to tax authorities. Uh, I also noted the federal election law cap on contraband, contribution uh, limits. But why weren't there those crimes charged? Uh, with those well, we, we, I'm not going to go into our deliberate process on what was brought. The charges that were brought were the ones that were brought. The evidence in the law uh, is, is the basis for those decisions. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait, hold on. You, you, you're charging them for covering up crimes that you didn't bother to name because the law says you didn't have to name them. But you can't tell us what the crimes are. And, oh, by the way, he's not charged with those crimes. What? How could anybody sit here and listen to this nonsense and believe there's an actual legitimate case against the former president of the United States? Again, I want to go over this with you because we're called Explain America for a reason. Former President Donald Trump, follow along here. Former President Donald Trump, is being charged with crimes. The crimes are based on him covering up other crimes. But those other crimes, those mystery crimes, are not named and not charged. So, to put this to you another way, it would be like somebody got charged with hiding a murder weapon but they never got charged with the murder. It's the same person. It's not like an accomplice or something. So, Jim, we believe you murdered Bob. We're going to charge you with concealing the murder weapon, but we're not going to... Actually, no, we're not even going to charge you with concealing the murder weapon. We're going to charge you with lying about concealing the murder weapon, but we're not going to charge you with concealing the murder weapon or the murder. That's that's the genesis of this case. All based on the testimony of convicted liar and convicted perjurer Michael Cohen being prosecuted by a man, Alvin Bragg, who in his campaign vowed that he would get Trump. That he would get Trump. So when you put all this together, you would have to be a gloriously delusional nitwit to believe that this is not politics. But not only is it politics, it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that the previous Trump-hating prosecutor, Cy Vance, decided not to prosecute it. It's so ridiculous that Alvin Bragg didn't want to prosecute it until he did. So ridiculous that the feds didn't want to prosecute it. Again, just to recap, he's prosecuting him for lying about crimes but not lying about the crimes, lying about concealing the crimes, but he's not charging the crimes, and he's not naming the crimes that were concealed. Does that make sense to you? It shouldn't. It shouldn't make sense to anybody. It's gobbledygook. It's nonsense. It's ridiculous. And they're bringing down the entire precedent for which our system is based and bringing down possibly the democracy itself in this country, in this republic, over absolute nonsense. Folks, I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We're here all day covering the Trump indictment. We appreciate you. We love you. God bless you. Take care, everybody.